Hi, I'm Rob, and today I like to make uh, a little addition to uh, a few previous videos about uh, a twisted drill grinding jig. And uh, many people they requested me uh, a uh, technical drawing with sizes so they could build it themselves. And um, I like to show that to you today, uh, the drawings as well as. Uh, a more uh, in detail uh, explanation. Well, um, this is in a way what it goes about. I don't know if you can see it well. But this is then the home made, uh, the home built grinding jig. And uh, that's what people like to replicate. It's a, a newer version or a uh, version I made myself from a previous version from a factory model from the 60s. Well, this is then the factory uh, made uh, version. It's, it's uh, from the late 60s. On the grinder. And uh, this is then the jig. Well, this is then the homemade version. And uh, from this one uh, I give you people uh, later on in the video the drawing with the sizes. Uh, there is a little adaptation involved in the grinder table. This one. This is then the uh, attachment bolt for your grinding table. Well, the normal one is too short, but you should length it up a little by a, a longer one. And that you can see uh, in here. This is then the longer version of the bolt. And that's because the table has to move a little bit inside the machine, more to the left in this case. Otherwise, there is no place for the lips, the attachment of your grinding jig. If it was in the old situation, like it comes from the factory, your drill goes outside of the grinding stone. Now it still is attached in a way to the grinding stone. But in a normal case, like it comes from the factory, you go too much outside the stone. And then you can't grind. So you have to bring it a little bit more inwards. Like in here. Now I hope uh, it was uh, all in all quite clear to you people. And I hope that you people uh, in the future can do something with it. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching. And maybe till the next time. Bye bye.